milk thistle, which is supposed to help reduce the negative effects of environmental stressors. Environmental stressors hardly know her. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. That was super sweet of you. Let's zoom you in for the eye look. I absolutely love the way today's eye look turned out. I'm wearing one of my Danessa Myricks Twin Flame Multichromes, one of the new ones I got recently that my friend sent me, and I'm wearing the shade Serpentine today. Such a gorgeous green. Definitely not as multi-chrome. Did I call this a multi-chrome? I keep calling these multi-chromes. They're Twin Flames liquid eyeshadows. Not all of them are multi-chromes. This one is definitely more of just a green shimmer, but it's an extra special green shimmer. I mean, it's just so reflective, gorgeous. Love this formula so much. And then I'm also wearing one of Danessa Myrick's multi-chrome pencils. I have the shade Jade here, and I don't know if you can see, but I used it to line like the inner portion of the line, make it a little more graphic. You know, I like to make my makeup more graphic whenever I can. And then I'm also wearing it on the lower lash line over a black shadow base, as well as over my waterline. I don't know why I'm talking like this, so you can see it better when I talk like this. But yeah, I love the way the eye look turned out. I'm also wearing one of my Danessa Myricks highlighters in the shade Spring Equinox. Really going all out with Danessa Myricks today. I'm wearing her Luxe Cream Palette too on my cheeks and on my lips. So, you know, it's all Danessa Myricks everything today. Oh, I forgot. I gotta do a full face of Danessa Myricks soon. That video will be coming at you real soon. But that's not what this video is about. You did not click on this video to find out that I'm wearing a bunch of Danessa Myricks products. No, you clicked on this video because you, like me, have an interest in new makeup releases that I actually want. I know, I put a question mark at the end of that sentence because I'm surprised myself that there's so many new makeup releases right now that look good. I was looking through Trend Mood the other day because I was like, ah, I'm due for an anti-haul. Let's see what makeup I don't want this month. And honestly, there was still a lot of makeup that I don't want this month, but the releases have been so boring that I almost don't even care to talk about them. I'll probably still do an anti-haul soon. But I was shocked to see that there's a lot of makeup releases, specifically indie makeup releases, that I really do want. So. If that sounds like a topic that is interesting to you and you want to hear about all of the new makeup releases that look really good and I'm thinking about buying, then I encourage you to please subscribe and keep on watching because it's coming at you right now. Okay, you guys, we're starting off with a bang here because this first makeup release uh, had me speechless, had me absolutely speechless. It looks so good. And that is the Adept Cosmetics Plain Jane Remastered Palette. I am so freaking excited about this eyeshadow palette because I wanted the Plain Jane palette when it first came out, but I ended up missing it. I think it sold out and it was gonna restock for like another few months. And then honestly, I just forgot about it because I get distracted easily and I just forget about things if they're not in stock. And then I saw that they're coming out with this remastered palette and it looks like even more my style than the original. I was gonna say it looks better than the original, but I think it's just more my speed. If I'm remembering correctly, I could just pull it up. Let me pull up what the original Plain Jane looks like. Okay, yeah, so the original is still super, super beautiful. You can still see a ton of like very much my speed shades, purples, pinks, greens, but there's a few neutrals in there too that to be honest, I probably wouldn't use a bunch and they're probably not even neutrals. I'm sure they have a beautiful shift, but there's definitely a couple shades in here that I could tell I wouldn't reach for a bunch. Bunch. Whereas with the remastered palette, I'm like, yeah, I'd be putting all of those on my face all the time. Even the neutral-ish, neutral adjacent shades in this palette, I could see being gorgeous face highlights for me or like brow bone highlights, you know, inner corner highlights, stuff like that. Like this looks gorgeous. Every shade a banger. Like this truly <laughs> looks so good and I hear nothing but incredible things about Adept's formula. Like I know this is gonna be good and now I feel like I have no excuse not to get this because the color story is like there's no question I would use this color story and I feel like I couldn't dupe this in my own collection. Also a lot of the shades look like they're either duochromes or multi-chromes which is so exciting. I feel like it makes the palette so much more worth it. I can't find an exact price for this. Oh, $58. Okay, honestly, yeah, that's totally worth it for me. And I know people have discount codes. I'm pretty sure Amy Loves has a discount code. So I can save a little money using her code and then it would only be like $53 maybe? I don't know how much money her code saves. But yeah, I think that would totally be worth it for these beautiful transformative shades. I also did just see in a post on Adept's Instagram that it says there are some repeat shades. So if you already have the plain Jane palette, 
I don't know if it's gonna be totally worth it for you, but I don't have the Plain Jane palette, so I think it would be totally worth it for me. And yeah, hopefully I can get this. Okay, so it's launching January 29th at 2 p.m. EST, so I'm gonna set a calendar event so I don't miss it, because I would love to get this palette and to review it for you, and I just think I could create so many fun looks with this, and I know I don't need any more eyeshadow. I have, what, like 33 eyeshadow palettes? Is that what we said in my makeup inventory? I know I don't need any more eyeshadow, but I feel like the multi-chromes allow me to justify it, and I definitely wanna try the Adept Cosmetics Plain Jane Remastered Palette. Okay, so the next new makeup product that I'm very interested in and probably will only buy if they have a huge sale because it's $49 for a foundation and that is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. Now, if you're on TikTok or Instagram, I'm sure you've seen at least like 40,000 videos of people trying this foundation. And you guys, they've all been positive reviews. And I feel like that never happens. You know, there's always somebody whose skin type is just not gonna work with something. So it's not gonna work out for them. But all of the reviews I've seen have been so good. People with oily skin types, people with dry skin types, everyone just seems to love this foundation. And it seems like something that would be super up my alley. And I currently only have one foundation in my whole collection. Well, I technically have, I technically have I have three. I have my Rare Beauty Liquid Touch Foundation, which is like my everyday foundation, and then I also have my Huda Beauty Glowish Foundation, but I don't classify this as a foundation because it's just like so, so sheer, so I like to layer it under my foundation, but I guess it's technically a foundation, and then I have my Oma Beauty Flawless IRL Foundation, which is too light for me, so that's why I never wear this guy, even though I do like it, so I feel like I could, you know, another foundation in my collection could be good, but then my only fear with that is I'm like, is it going to be too similar to the Huda Beauty Glowish, where it is just like a sheer, very glowy, like, tint of color. Although the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation seems like it has more coverage, because that's my complaint with the Huda one, is that it's just, like, no coverage. And I know it calls itself a skin tint, but this is, like, a skin tint to, like, the next level. Like, it just, like, disappears into the skin. Beautiful glow, but basically it's just, like, a glowy primer, whereas the NARS foundation seems like it actually has some, some coverage to it, so I like that about it. I also feel like I hear such good things about NARS complexion products, like, about NARS concealers, foundations. Oh my gosh, in 2017, 2018 YouTube, you couldn't get away from people raving and ranting about the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and the NARS Radiant Foundation. What's the name of that foundation? I know Jackie Ina used it a lot. Yeah, the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation was one that like everyone was using on Beauty YouTube a couple of years ago. So I feel like this is like what seems like a remastered version of that for the modern age. You know, it seems like it's a little more sheer but still has some coverage where I feel like the NARS Natural Radiant Foundation seem to be very full coverage, whereas this one seems like it's more of a medium coverage, which is my perfect zone. You know, medium that I can sheer out is absolutely where I want to be. It just looks really, really gorgeous. I'm so interested, but I would never in a million years pay $48 for a foundation. How much product do you get? Is it at least over an ounce? If it's going to be almost $50, I feel like it needs to be over an ounce. Nope, it's exactly one ounce. Ugh, no. NARS, come on, it's gotta be more than one ounce if it's almost $50. Oh, it's so expensive. Ooh, I didn't realize that it's skincare benefits too. Of course it does. Every foundation has skincare benefits now. But okay, so this one has milk thistle, which is supposed to help reduce the negative effects of environmental stressors. Environmental stressors, hardly nowhere. Then there's biomimetic oat, which reduces the appearance of redness. Hey, I've got redness, sounds great to me. Cacao peptides helps to reduce the negative effect of blue light on skin. Japanese lily turf immediately strengthens skin barrier immediately. Okay, NARS. Helping to maintain its moisture. So you know what? Incredible claims. Would like to see the long-term clinical trials on that NARS, but incredible claims, and it sounds really nice. I do want it. I do want to pay $20 for it. So we'll see if that's in the cards for me. This one's not like a for sure thing. I want to buy it, but man, oh man, do I really want it. You guys let me know if you've tried this foundation and if you think it's worth it, um, because I would love to hear from you. Okay, so the next new makeup release that I'm super excited about is another indie makeup release, and it's a collab with small creators, which are my favorite collabs to support. And that is the Shine by SD So Below collection. And this is done in collaboration with both M Jones 5018, Monica Jones, I love Monica, hello Monica, and Bizarre Revolta, who is named 
named Lisa. I, I don't follow Lisa, but I am now following Lisa. Yes, incredible. Two really impressive makeup artists. I'm looking at Lisa's page now and I'm like, wow, they are super, super talented. But Monica I've been following for a while. She's super talented. I bought Monica's companion palette that she did in collaboration with Copacetic Cosmetics a couple years ago. And I have to say, she freaking nailed it. That's like one of my favorite palettes I've ever purchased. So I am super excited to buy her next collaboration palette. This one I am like determined to get. It looks so good. I also have a couple of single shadows from Shine by SD that my sweet friend Artie sent to me. Thanks so much, Artie. That was super sweet of you. And they're some of my favorite shadows ever. Oh my gosh, I have the palette right here. This shade, Clarity, is freaking insane. I'm gonna swatch it for you now. Why not? It's my channel. I'll do random swatches if I want to. This shade, Clarity, is like the prettiest pink to gold duochrome shift. I wore this one a ton over the summer. I gotta wear it more. I keep forgetting I have it. But Shine by SD's formula is just truly top notch. They are out of this world. And the color story in this collab looks so pretty. Oh my gosh. All of the shades are so transformative and beautiful and I could see myself using every single one of them. I mean, look at these swatch photos. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Really blowing my lid over here, but I'm just so excited for this collab. Ever since they first started teasing it, I was like, give it to me now. I don't really know what else I could say about this. The proof is in the photos. Why wouldn't I want something like this? And yeah, I'm gonna do my absolute best to get the Shine by SD Sovolo collection. All right, so the last new makeup release that I am actually excited about and interested in buying. I know, you're like the last release, you've only talked about a few things. Hey, I said I was excited about some new makeup releases. Most of them are still bad, but these four I feel very strongly about. And the last one is the Sugar Drizzle Polish Liquid Sugar Multichrome Liquid Eyeshadows. What are they called? Why am I so bad at remembering names? Okay, they're just called their Liquid Sugar eyeshadows. These are beautiful. Sugar Drizzle Polish is a brand that I have been wanting to try for a while. There's been so many launches that I've almost gotten and honestly I just forget. I look at so much new makeup all the time. That's why these videos are kind of helpful for me because I'm like now that I'm talking about it with you and I'm gonna like respond to comments and stuff hopefully it'll keep it on my brain a little bit longer but I saw a reel that Millie of Bad to the Brow posted using one of these liquid sugar multichromes and I immediately was like flocking to her description like what are you wearing on your eyes and it was one of these specifically I think she was wearing the shade bubblegum ice cream which is gorgeous and I don't normally go for like pinky multichromes like I feel like when I'm looking at multichromes I'm always looking at like greens and blues and purples but this one is so eye-catching it looks so beautiful in the tutorial that she did also the shade pink rock candy is like a pink to blue flip so that's super interesting to me all of the multichromes are very unusual to me you know they're not your typical ones and also I've been much more into liquid eyeshadows lately as you guys have probably seen at the beginning of the video I was sharing my Danessa Myricks twin flame multichromes with you so I'm much more into liquid eyeshadow lately I just feel like they really take the shimmer up a notch because they are wet you know so I feel like they already have some natural sheen to them and then having the multi-chrome in them just makes them so much more powerful and I feel like this could be a great first product for me to try from the brand since for some reason I haven't purchased any of the palettes this could be a great product to try and Monica's swatches just make them look so good you guys should follow Monica Jones she's so good at swatching things like her swatch Watches really could make me buy anything. She's just really good at capturing multichromes and she captured these so beautifully and they look so amazing. Have you guys tried anything from Sugar Drizzle Polish? They're coming out with another palette too. What's the palette called? Is it the Butterfly Palette? Yes, the Butterfly Palette. This is really beautiful too. A little tempted by this, but I think I'm gonna stick with the Liquid Sugar Multichromes for now because I already have so many palettes I wanna buy. They have a wet liner palette too that Monica actually sent me directly. She sent me like a photo of it and was like, oh, I think you would like this. And then I forgot about it, but she's right. I think I would like this. It's called the Mermaid Pastel Glow Face Cube and Eye Palette. That looks gorgeous. Oh, that's a new one. She sent me an older one. They must have a couple of wet liner palettes. I'm gonna have to try this brand. I'm absolutely gonna have to try this brand. You guys let me know if you've tried Sugar Drizzle Polish. Do you have any recommendations for me? I'm definitely gonna get one of the liquid eyeshadows for sure because you know, those are just singles I can pick up. But let me know if you've tried their water active liners. They look super beautiful. Let me know if you tried the eyeshadows. This is a brand that just always catches my eye and I feel like they have such unique color stories and multichromes 
and I really want to try them. All right, you guys, and with that, I went the wrong way. We reached the end of the video. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for all of these new makeup releases. I know I only talked about a few, but I feel like the ones I'm excited for, I'm like really excited for. I need to start putting calendar events in my phone because what always happens to me with indie makeup brands is I get so excited about a launch and then I forget what day it's coming out. And because indie makeup brands tend to be smaller businesses, they can't always produce a large amount of product. I feel like a lot of people aren't very understanding of that, maybe just because they don't understand how that works. You know, when you have one or only a few people running a business, they're making everything by hand over there. They're only gonna be able to make so many at a time. So I totally understand the exclusivity and how things sell out quickly. I take full responsibility for missing all these launches just by not remembering the days. So I need to put in some calendar events so I remember exactly what time these things are launching. You know, I work from home, so I have the time to be able to get them when they come out. So I just need to remember, but let me know what new makeup releases you guys are excited about. Like I said, an anti-haul will still be coming soon. I just feel like all the bad makeup releases have been so boring. Like, you want me to talk about how I don't want another boring neutral palette? Like, ugh, I'm bored even thinking about it. But there's, you know, there's been a couple today that came out that I'm like, ooh, I have some thoughts on. So stay tuned. I'll have an anti-haul coming out for you soon. And let me know what other videos you guys want to see from me. I would love to get some feedback from you. What's your favorite topic that I talk about? What do you want me to talk about more on this channel? What do you wish I talked about more that I don't talk about as much? I would love to know. A little market research for you there. Would love to get some feedback. So thank you so much for that. And I thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. That really helps out my channel a lot. Also subscribe. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and they're always really cute and sweet like this one. Check out my description box for all of the makeup on my face today, as well as a bunch of Black Lives Matter resources, resources to support the Asian American community, and resources to support the LGBTQ plus community. So please click on those links if you haven't yet, and I thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!